All right, hello everybody. This is Reviews and More. Back in the quick review. This time is on Michelangelo's brand cast iron two-piece cookware. So this is basically two skillets, one shallow, one kind of like a middle-sized Dutch oven size. And this can be used in the smaller skillet can be used as a lid. This thing can be purchased for about fifty-five dollars. I think there's like a small Amazon coupon right now. Then you can just go straight to the link that I have in the bottom and go from there and go pick yourself up one. This is just going to be a quick review of the item itself, real quick unboxing, followed by a small gumbo recipe just to show it being cooked, cooked with, and followed by a quick cleaning video just so you see how well this, how the enamel holds up and how quickly it is for cleaning, even like sticky stuff like gumbo that's been sitting in there for a couple hours. So just uh, run through this. And as always, if you find the video helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button and we'll go from there. So as we saw all the little PC parts in there, the obviously the Dutch oven portion, now you're pulling, pulling out the frying pan portion, which is also the lid. And from here, we, we also saw the uh, trivet that came with it that is very useful, as well as some uh, silicone grips for when the pan gets hot. That way you can pick it up and move it a lot more easily. The Dutch oven portion is three quarts, and both pans are nine and a half inches in diameter. So that's the size we're dealing with here. So it's a, it's a middle to large size pan. Uh, it's, a, it's a middle to lower size Dutch oven, and be had about 50 bucks. They have an uncoated version that's, I think, a little bit cheaper, but um, the only portion that's not really coated with enamel is the portion where the uh, lid and the Dutch oven interlock and that's kind of where you go from there to keep it safe. So make sure you always keep it keep it nice and dry when you're doing it. So here's a quick gumbo video. We're gonna make a quick roux. Um, if you want to skip ahead of this, you're not really worried about how it cooks or being or seeing a demonstration of it cooking. You can skip ahead to about five minutes into the video, and that'll be the final just cleaning portion. So real fast here, you can kind of already see it cooking and uh, reducing the roux down, getting all the all the flour taken care of. Uh, the coating does a very good job of keeping the liquid from sticking to it, which is its job, which is the main purpose of the enamel coating versus a heavily seasoned cast iron pan, which will do something similar. But um, this kind of takes away all the upkeep and maintenance that you would have. So you get all the benefits of cast iron minus the upkeep and maintenance. That's the main benefit of enamel coated cast iron. So just working through the roux here, you'll see me add some various ingredients as well as the all important celery, uh, bell pepper, and some onion. Then you'll see me throw in the chick, the dark meat chicken, followed by a bunch of. Uh, we're gonna throw the broth in on top, let it simmer for a while. I'll throw the lid on there. Um, again, this is just to demonstrate how well the product actually does cook. It cooks very evenly. The handle on the pan does eventually get hot, as cast iron tends to do when it's exposed to heat over a long term. And from there, you just have a nice cooked gumbo towards the end. Um, Overall, really happy with it. It came clean very, very easily, which you'll see towards the end if you want to skip about five minutes in, as I mentioned earlier. But the main thing here is it was not difficult to cook with. It was, I, at no point was I sitting there worried about it because, again, it's cast iron and the enamel coating is very thick on it. So I wasn't worried about chipping it as sometimes you deal with, with uh, I'm going to say, cheaper stuff as time goes on. But as we run through this, um, I'm trying to think of anything major that I noticed. Uh, the, the pan was nice and level, so it wasn't. I wasn't dealing with anything uneven. Sometimes with cheaper cast iron, you'll have like some slightly unevenness to the actual uh, pan itself, which can cause problems with cooking. Didn't see that. Everything looks just straight and narrow and level. Um, and again, for the price point, 50 bucks for basically what about two pans or, or, or a Dutch oven situation because the the, head, the top lid can be used as a frying pan. Um, this is a good price. I mean, you're talking about 50 bucks for two pans that have some real functionality to them as well as all the, uh, very, the trivet as well as the, um, various silicone rubber handles that kind of help out, uh, super easy to cook with. It did not develop hot spots Again, cast iron's main benefit. Um, it would, it retained heat really well. It cooked very evenly here. Uh, here I have it cockeyed like that. You can lay them on top of each other very evenly, but because at this point I had the silicone on top of it, I cockeyed it. So it would sit level. And there you go. It cooks real even, real nice, and I was really happy with it. Wife liked the gumbo. I liked the gumbo, and the result was pretty good. Um, what you're going to see is just a quick serving of it with the trivet. It, hold, it held that full weight of gumbo. So this is about as heavy as anything you're going to cook in this pan, and the trivet does just fine. There was no sliding, no slipping, which is kind of nice. So there I'm going to serve it with a little bit of rice, and you see it on the trivet there. Worked out just fine. My camera works a little shoddy and crappy, but that's because I'm not a professional. But um, overall, really happy with the product. For 50 bucks, it makes a great gift because of anyone who because one of the big things that scares folks from cast iron is the upkeep on it. But if you can look at someone and say, hey, look, it's an enamel-coated cast iron pan. You get all the benefits of cast iron without any of the upkeep. 
or at least a much reduced version of, of the upkeep, they'll really appreciate it. It's a good it's a good starter set of pans as well because it's very versatile. You get the Dutch oven aspect, you get the easy to clean aspect. Sorry, my sink is a little stained. I gotta run run some hard hard solvent through it. But just a real quick rinse with hot water, and most of it, everything comes off it. I only had to kind of go around with the scrub daddy at the end just to make sure that nothing that was kind of cooked on there was stayed on. Even that came off really easily. So you see just kind of the stuff just falling right off. And this was no, there was no soaking involved. This is just the leftover residue from the gumbo, which is a very, very sticky solution as it, as it, as a food tends to go. And you just rub the, rub the scrub daddy around it or any given sponge. I would avoid using anything metal or super. I wouldn't use like steel wool, certainly, because that can damage the enamel coating. But this r works through real fast. And as you can see, there's virtually nothing left after a couple of quick swipes. So overall, really happy with the product. Cleans super easy. Just make sure that rim is dry because that rim there is the only portion that is not covered with enamel because it can't be because that's where the seal is. And that cast iron on cast iron would chip any enamel away. Um, when you stack them, make sure that they're stacked to where the cast, to where the enamel is not touching other hard hard points because you can, in theory, crack it or chip it, although you have to work really hard to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Great product. Have a great day.